I have to stop? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Juice, and this is your new favorite show, Juice Me, please, where I show you around the hottest spots in your favorite cities around the world. Now, listen, it's going to be a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of food, and a whole lot of juice, so I hope you're strapped in and ready for the ride, okay? Today, we're getting real cultural, something real close to my heart, okay? We are at the Tiki Bar in London, and we are trying some Haitian-inspired food, okay? Stop that Let's get it, come on! Now, this Haitian-inspired grill and bar is not just bringing you the vibes, but it's bringing you the flavors, okay? Listen. Stop saying my peoples! Hey. They're not just serving up the good food, but the good vibes as well, okay? All right, y'all, I am here with the owner of Tiki Bar, Will! Hey, welcome, Jesse. I'm very excited that there's a little bit of me in this London. How, first of all, how did you even land here? Because this is not the usually people going to Florida. People going to Miami. Indeed, okay, indeed. What's indeed, going on? Or France. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I was in France before I came here. Um, I came to learn English, to be honest. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, learn English, went back to study, and then uh, work here in finance. And then a couple of years ago, I thought maybe, yeah, why not try something different? Yeah. And then that's why I ended up here. Unfortunately for me, um, my father, he never taught me Creole. Oh. He never taught me. So, but there are some things I do know, okay? Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know what I know. So, I know the important things, actually. <laughs> um, Gangu. Yeah, uh -huh. When I first opened, I have to say, big shout to the Haitian community here. When I first opened, everyone was, we never had such a spot in London, if yeah. you want. No, everyone has been welcome. They uh, trying Haitian food. They heard about Haiti, mm. but they never had Haitian food. Right. And when they found out there's a Haitian food in London, Haitian restaurant in London. Manger. <laughs> That's right. Cremas. Yeah. To be engaged with those people talking about Haiti. Mm. I mean, you can see the Haitian arts all over the place, on the wall, yeah. uh, everywhere as well. Um, yeah, and they're coming here in a nice Caribbean vibe. You feel like you're coming here, you feel like you're in the Caribbean somewhere. Mm -hmm. Toilette, <laughs> Bayen, Guillo, yeah. Well, most of the decoration, the music is Haitian. Um, the food is Haitian, most of the food is, is Haitian. Oh, Jesus, Papa. What else? <laughs> um, mes amis, boy. God, people have been coming from north, east, west, you name it. Yeah. Even from outside London, from Manchester, from Cambridge. Scotland, people coming here to travel uh, to, to have eat. a taste of Haiti. The most important things, I think, coming to Tiki Bar. Oh, all I need to gangu, know is gangu, manger, okay, manger, yeah, and that's it. You <laughs> know, Guillaume, but I'm busy. I feel it. I can survive. That's right. What's one way that you want to see Haiti represented even more in this country is get to get people to know about Haiti mm -hmm. a bit more. Not just the food; that's one aspect of what we do. Yeah. But also, we also have some cultural elements. I'm gonna teach you how to dance compa. Okay, first things first. You grab your partner, okay? Second thing you need to do is make sure that you caress them tight. So we have been involved for the first time. Haiti participated at the carnival last year. They're not oh! singing carnival. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, Pondy Road. Yes. Good. Hand on the back, barely touching. Hand on the bum, barely touching, okay? And then you. Um, do, 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 do. Then you're gouyant. Yeah. Congratulations. I know Thank Peru. You. Para, Peru, Peru, para. Uh -huh, was filmed here. Uh -huh, Talk to me about that. How did that happen? Thanks to this guy here. Actually, I'm wearing his t-shirt uh, today. Shout out the plug. Yeah, Jamal Edwards, mm. uh, SBTV. Um, he's the one who came. He discovered this place. And then he just loves it. He loves the food. He loves the vibe. He just fell in love with the place. He wanted all of his friends to come here. Mm. That's why. And then he brought um, Ed Sheeran here one day. Oh, come on. Man came to the end. For events as well. We have to take them through to... A big yard munch. Next thing I knew it was I got a call from those guys. Yeah, is it okay to film the Peru video here with the Chiron and Fireboy? I said, well, I thought it was a joke. I mean, someone taking the out of me because she has <laughs> been coming here. And then I said, why don't you send me an email and then... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out if yeah, it's real yeah. or not. And then they came one day, uh, shoot that video here. Sadly, Jamal passed away a couple oh. of months later. Rest in peace to Jamal. And I think when you think about how pivotal someone's... I'm sure he's impacted so many people in his time on Earth. Oh, but then lots of people. But then for him to like, in his last few months, to come and do this, it's almost like he was godsend. Like he's, you know, kind of like an angel. Yeah. He just walked in and just said, boom, mm -hmm. like, you know, rocket shit. So yeah, we yeah. love that. I love yeah. that. Okay. Big up Chelsea. That's their team, football team. Oh, uh, Chelsea. Jamal and uh, Jill Hogarth. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I haven't picked a football yeah. team yet. 
Oh, Arsenal. Uh, everybody's telling Arsenal. me I have to do. But, but see, my thing is, everyone says I need to do my local team. That would uh -huh. be Crystal Palace. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Crystal Palace fans, I'm so, so sorry. Listen, um, you need to bring patties. Listen, I'm yes, so sorry yes, to my yes. Jamaicans. <laughs> but I'm so sorry. You haven't lived until you had a Haitian patty, okay? Sorry. It's giving flaky, the <laughs> butter, the just... <gasps> Talk to me about how important it is for you to actually expose the British community to the Haitian culture. Very, very important, especially when Haiti, uh, the image of Haiti that's been portrayed here mm. or even on, on media in general, has been rather a negative image of Haiti. It's a disaster, coup d'etat, killing, poverty, mm. you name it. So it's always some drama associated with Haiti. Even some of my customers, they come here, sometimes they used to ask me, so how is Haiti? It's like someone who's sick or is ill in the hospital. Yeah. yeah. So it was good uh, when I opened here. I didn't expect it to be, to have that sort of um, uh, impact on, uh, on the society. People wanted to discover Haiti. I'm sure you're going to show them how to, how to, how to, how to <sighs> eat the eat, eat it properly, pickles, right? okay? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Exactly, and a bit of legume as well on the side. Okay. Uh, we do also cater for vegan, vegetarian people as well. Legume was my dad, one of my yeah. dad's favorites. So oh, okay. I'm excited. Yeah, Here yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah. So we're gonna start with our banan. It's just fried plantain, y'all. Mm. But it's not even about the bean. It's how you make it. And you can't eat banan without the sauce. Okay? You just can't eat it without the sauce. Frenchy, but soft. The sauce, got a little bit of spice to it. You know, we like that. Perfectly seasoned. Mmm, it's giving home. And I'm gonna try the pickles. Pickles is basically like a spicy, like pickled cabbage and carrots and stuff like that. Vinegary and absolutely just, mmm. Listen, if you don't like heat, stay away from the pickles, but it just adds to the flavor and they gotta eat it together. Now this is a bite. This is a bite. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna move on to the legume. Legume is basically like beans and like, to be honest, I don't even know what's in it. Sometimes they put, sometimes they put meat in it. Let's see if it holds up to my aunties. Y'all already know, I'm not even a veg fan, but baby, and I never used to like legume when I was younger because again, the, the vegetables, I wanted, I wanted meat, but listen, if this is the type of vegetables I gotta eat, I'm gonna eat legume all day, okay? The reason, I'm so excited, okay? We got our jean, -jean our black rice, Hands down, best rice I've had in London thus far. I'm not even capping. I'm not even capping. The flavors, baby. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. What I love about it is that there's like this meatiness to it. It's like a roundness. There's depth, like rice is, first of all, one of the best dishes to exist. But like, there's so many ways to cook it. And what I love about Haitian rice is the fact that like, you can, you're infusing the flavor into that rice. Like, mmm, don't even need the sauce. The griot, baby. Chicharron is what we call it in the Latino community. She's crunchy. She's flavorful, but she ain't dry. Okay? Never dry over here. Okay? Mmm. We just cut the video right here, bro. Mmm. Try not to get emotional. Just being able to have something like this in London, you know, especially being by myself, being able to just enjoy a piece of me that I haven't had, especially because my pops just passed away. But being able to remember him through the food, I think that's why I love food so much, because just one taste can really just send you back and, you know, you can honor them. You can honor the people that you love 
um, by eating the things that they, they used to love. And yeah, uh, before I, cause you know, I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster, so we're not gonna get the tears flowing. Okay, but yeah, big ups to Will for uh, doing this because I didn't know how much I needed it. Listen, on your next trip to London, if you want to try something a little different than fish and chips, then go ahead and try a little slice of Haiti, okay? All right, y'all, that's all we got time for today. I've been your girl, Juice, and don't forget, if you want to see me at a shop locally near you, go ahead and hit me with a Juice Me Please in the comments below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you can know every single time that I upload. All right, I'll check y'all later. Peace. Get back, guy, get back, guy. Eh? I have to stop? <laughs>